Now let's go back to our correspondent, uh, Stephen Gibbs in Brasilia. Uh, Stephen, hello again. Oh, well, more can you tell us about this uh, a massive railway project, uh, one of the biggest investment in uh, Brazil by China? Oh yes, this is an absolutely huge project, and it uh, was described today by by President Rousseff as the road to Asia. This is big, long-term thinking. It's early days too. They're in. They're really just starting a feasibility study. But as Paulo Cabral said, it's a plan to really link the Pacific with the Atlantic. The Pacific uh, in Peru, we believe the start will be somewhere quite close to Lima. That's one of the feasibility projects, at least going right across South America and ending up basically between Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo. This would be a transformational project um, for Brazil particularly because Brazil has this problem of shipping anything out of Brazil to go to Asia. It has to go up through the Panama Canal and there are geopolitical uh, uh, there's a geopolitical point to that, and that is that a lot of people see Panama as largely uh, sort of controlled by the U.S., and it would bypass that issue. The, the railway is not without controversy, particularly because it does, uh, it, it would cross some of the most remote parts of the world where some people believe there are still uncontacted tribes. So there are environmental issues that need to be looked at and questioned and some people are concerned about that. But this is absolutely uh, thinking ahead on a very, very big scale. Right. And Steve, uh, what are some of the other uh, important deals expected to be signed during this visit by Premier Li Keqiang? Well, I think we've uh, heard most of the big deals today. One that didn't get a whole lot of, um, of publicity in a way and people hadn't previewed was uh, Chinese banks getting into uh, the Brazilian banking business. Brazilian banks are actually quite profitable, but they're looking for additional capital. And there was one announcement today that the, uh, the Bank of Communication, the fifth biggest lending bank in China, has bought 80% of one of the bigger banks here in Brazil and that is also connected with banking, uh, the banking community wanting to get into the uh, business of financing some of these huge infrastructure projects. So on, as I said earlier, on almost every sector there was a sort of extremely big uh, announcement made here in Brasilia today that even on its own, even just one of these announcements would have probably been headline news if it had been made on its own. Yes, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Stephen Gibbs reporting from Brasilia, the capital city of Brazil.